Matt indicated that you are going to play on Sunday. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling after getting some practice? I guess comes with Ellie Button. That was good. Uh, just, I guess, kind of breaking up some scar tissue. Um, but, yeah, we're good. When you're playing, I guess, I'm assuming a lot of us don't know about an appendectomy, what, what are you looking for to make sure it's okay when you're out there Sunday? I mean, the biggest thing is just bracing, straining. Um, I think that was the biggest hurdle to get over. Uh, to give a comparison, I definitely, I broke a rib, and I've done this. I would rather break a rib than go through that. I, it's not fun. <laughs> You practiced all week, too. That's the first in this year, maybe? Maybe, maybe you did mid-season, I guess. Maybe yeah, I think I randomly have. I mean, I feel good. I feel really good, actually. So is that maybe the, I hate to say, silver lining having your appendix taken out? That'd be probably a stretch, but... Yeah, I mean, the appendix, uh, I mean, it's terrible. I mean, I would have liked to keep rolling, keep playing. Regard, I mean, I'm not going to downplay practice, but I just give me whatever I can get to get ready for the games, because obviously I, you know, I want to be out there. Uh, but yeah, the silver lining in that was kind of gave a chance for like and then everything to kind of catch up instead of playing playing catch up throughout the season. So, I mean, probably the best I felt in a long time. Well, against yeah, Zedarius, obviously in practice, what's the challenge? Like? Z, uh, I mean, big guy knows football. Uh, for how big he is, he can be extremely slippery uh, and powerful. Um, you just have to account for him. He likes to kind of uh, jump around everywhere, and also when he, when he plays the position, he likes to jump around. So uh, it's going to be fun. I'm sure he's going to have. Uh, he's going to be fired up. He's going to have his uh, choice words, and I mean, I'm just yeah, I'm excited to play football. You didn't get to play against him the first time, but obviously you've gone against former teammates before. What's unique about that in your experience? You just kind of know each other, know each other's tendencies. So uh, I'm excited to see how well he actually knows me, and uh, kind of put that. Uh, to the test when it's we don't have periods because I think uh, you know one thing we kind of had jokes about was that he'd be able to read our plays. I'm like, come on, man, you, this is called run, play, action, pass. So, <laughs> I mean, if you rush the quarterback every time, you're gonna be right a few. So it's gonna be fun when you we have to play the actual full game. You know, you don't know any situation, you don't know what we're gonna be in or what exactly we're gonna do. So uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good to see him too. Yeah, I mean, anytime you get in the playoff atmosphere, uh, I mean, it's winner go home. Uh, I mean, playing as long as I have, like these are the kind of games I definitely look forward to. Um, you kind of just play throughout the season to get yourself in the seed, but then come playoffs is really, especially for veterans, this is where things get a lot of fun. So um, I'm extremely excited. I mean, I'm excited for all games, but like you had said, there's just something a little bit more when it's that playoff atmosphere. Do you pay attention to the noon games at all before you kick off, or do you just ignore it all? I love noon games. wish we were playing in one. <laughs> uh, but I guess I'll take the the next slot. So do you pay attention to those 12 o'clock, though, on this Sunday specifically? I mean, you'll keep an eye, and obviously, yeah, uh, I know what you're insinuating. Like, yeah, we'd like to know what, uh, uh, what the Washington and Brown game is, but at a certain point, I mean, you kind of shut your mind off on what's going on out there, and you control what you can control. You know, I'm not gonna be thinking about it up till kickoff. There's gonna be a certain, I don't know, whenever, whenever I get uh, into the facility, it's just kind of like, all right, you know, it's, it's the Vikings. That's about it. Is anything gonna be in the back of your mind, like, oh, I hope I don't stretch that too much, or like, are you completely 100? That's that's what uh, in practice was for for me. So, come game, I mean, no, not really thinking about it at all. What are you expecting from Elton when he gets after his contract? Uh, you want to raise your voice so you can hear it. I'm expecting a, I'm expecting a big gift, something ah! nice. <laughs> you know, that's the least he can do for me. Uh, I, I told him everyone he was a rookie, he said, when you get paid, just remember, you know. I took care of uh, my vets. I got uh, a little Josh, a nice little present, so I'm expecting something in return. So he, he got enough money now, he can probably do something pretty cool. Dave, after you were released from the hospital a month ago after the appendectomy, did you have any sense what your timetable was? Because other patients, they say, well, you can go home, you can go to work in the office, just don't lift anything. What was it like for you? Yeah, I said I couldn't lift anything over 20 pounds for like three weeks. Um, other than that, there was a big question mark on, I, you know, I was kind of asking around, like, what can, like, I don't know. It was just kind of like, you just kind of feel it out. Um, so it was a journey for everyone, including myself. Uh, definitely sucked. Just was really, really weird. But I, I mean, I'm very fortunate that 
you know, like really the last 10 days, it just kind of like took a huge turn for the better. And then, yeah, I mean, there's uh, some pain, some things I had to work through this week, but uh, very fortunate to be where I am, where I'm like, okay, yeah, I can totally do this. Like, this is cool. So uh, that has been definitely the biggest blessing. But yeah, it's been an interesting, uh, interesting journey because I mean, here everyone else, certain people can come back sooner than later, later than sooner. And it's just kind of up in the air. I'm like, well, what can I do after three weeks? And there, it really is just, well, what can you do? So it was just me navigating, what, well, what can I do? And kind of figuring it out. When you turn. been observing for about a month now, Dave. Just how do you feel about how this offense is playing right now? I'm starting to click, starting to come together. Uh, you know, we have a lot of young guys playing. And with that, there's going to be growing pains. And I think as guys start understanding their roles, guys start settling in, and I think we start thinking more as one. 11 guys thinking more as one, that's how you get more effective plays and negate uh, negative plays. And I think that's what, you know, I've been observing being kind of almost on the outside uh, for this last month and uh, watching. So it's been awesome. And not to mention just the chemistry and then also the experience that these young guys are getting. Um, you can't replicate games at the end of the day. So them to get those reps in the games is going to uh, really help them grow, not only in the short term, but also long term. Speaking of that, Aaron Jones told us that through the ups and downs this year, more guys have been willing to step up and be vocal to kind of keep this team on the tracks. As one of the leaders in the offensive line room, how have you seen that kind of permeate throughout the whole offense and the whole team? I mean, standard's a standard. Uh, you know, this has been a tumultuous season, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, um, a lot of turns uh, as a team. And I mean, I can even speak for myself, even my own journey. Like, we, uh, so. With that, uh, it's it's nice seeing adversity hit and seeing how you know a person or a collective unit or a team responds to that because the only way to grow is to go through adversity, and you either you know don't grow and go the other way, or you become stronger. But the only way you can get stronger is by facing adversity. So I'm excited to see the trajectory of this team. I'm excited to see the trajectory of each one of the units. Um, and the way you show it is on Sundays. Dave, with the knee, you sort of knew how to like manage the pain and what you could take and what you couldn't. Have you figured out yet with this recovery, like what you can take, what you might not be able to do? Just kind of. Yeah, I was saying earlier, like earlier on, it was I kind of had to navigate and play catch up just with how my situation was, which was you know obviously getting three surgeries uh, on it in a short period of time, not really being able to. I like to call it kind of build your armor around it. I kind of was immediately go from rehab to football, which football isn't the best rehabilitation for uh, most injuries, but um, try to make the, the best out of any situation using the time off with my appendectomy. Uh, honestly, I feel really good in my knee, and that's kind of shown like I was able to pretty much practice this whole weekend. Not really something I'm trying, I'm even thinking about uh, when it comes to, you know, rep counts or anything like that. It's just, you know, I don't, I don't want to jinx myself, but it's just, it's been, it's been nice that it hasn't really been in the forefront of my mind. And I'm sorry, I guess I've said it wrong. I guess I'm meaning like how you know how to handle the knee. Do you have that same sense with the appendectomy recovery, like what you can handle and what you can't yet? No, I mean, I'm, this is they're two completely different things. Uh, I'm just assuming that it's good to go, <laughs> and I'll figure it out. You know, this really it doesn't feel like how it did ten days ago, and it definitely doesn't feel like how it did two weeks ago because that. It, I mean, I, full full transparency. I got the like, the flu, and I just got over the flu, and then I had this, and I was still snot, like coughing and sneezing. Oh my god! If, hey, people that know that have had this, that it was so not fun. It sucked so bad. I'd be like, almost dreading. I'm like, I'm about to sneeze, and this is gonna suck. And I'm gonna start probably tear up. It hurts so bad. It's not fun. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'd rather break my rib again than do that. That was well, thankfully I can't have it again because I cut the whole thing out. So. Well, Terry or ACL are going through that again. Nah, no, no, no. If I had another appendix, I'd probably say take that one instead. That's shorter downtime. It sucks, for, you know, but shorter downtime. Dave, you correct me if the premise of this is wrong, but after all that layoff because you're in the, I don't know if you wondered if you could be the same player when you came back. You've proven that you can be. So do you have to worry or wonder about what your ability can be after a long layoff like this, or do you just think, I've proven I can go back to all pro level, I can do it again? <laughs> Um, my mindset really hasn't changed. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do. I know what I do do. I know what I mean to this team. And 
I think a lot of things that you're inferring is a lot of just kind of outside noise, which mm-hmm. is great. But that's all the noise kind of being outside. And if I were to let, you know, I, I remember telling Tase, I'm like, I appreciate you not letting the other people write your story. Your story is your story. Don't let anyone else grab the pen and write it for you. So they can keep, I, you guys can keep saying whatever the hell you want. I mean, I know what I can do. It's just I got to get these things out of the way. Finally get in control of one thing, then, you know, obviously my appendix basically bursts. Like, it's just, it's kind of comical. But eventually when it's, you know, all the dust clears, you just keep doing what you normally do and doing your normal routine and preparing the way you're going to prepare. Um, the results are going to show. So that's how I feel about this.